Hi, I'm Kevin with Calca Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning here in Irvine, California, uh, serving all of South Orange County. And um, today we're in my classroom and we're talking about what we should do, what you should do as a homeowner before you call us. Um, there's some simple things you could look at and uh, the first one I want to start with is the filter. Uh, that's the low hanging fruit. Uh, make sure you change your filter. A lot of times that will inhibit the performance and it could cause your furnace to overheat and cycle off and won't come back on uh, until you change that filter. So make sure you've got that uh, filters clean. And the second thing you want to check is are you getting any power to your thermostat? Is the thermostat light up? Is it set properly? Is it on the heating mode? Is it set above the room temperature? Otherwise it won't come on. If it's 72 in the room, you need to set it to 73 or four to see it come on. Um, so um, that's the other thing you want to look at. The next thing you want to look at is the furnace itself. If it's accessible to you, sometimes they're hard to get to in the attic. But if they're in the garage or in the closet like they normally are out here oftentimes, check to see if it's plugged in. Um, is, is the unit even plugged in? And um, sometimes the door, uh, there's uh, what we call a kill switch or a safety switch on the door of the furnace that, that hides the fan motor. If that door is ajar just a little bit, um, it could disconnect power to the system and uh, cause the system not to come on. One of the quick checks is if you just turn the fan on, on your thermostat, you know, take the setting from auto to on. If the fan comes on, then you know you have power to the unit. That's the good indicator that the unit itself is working and then maybe the heat isn't. At that point, it might be time to give us a call. Our number's up here on the screen. Again, I'm Kevin with Calco Plumbing, Heating and Air.